A car bursts into flames moments after a shooting in Coquitlam tonight. RCMP say the two are most likely connected and part of a gang conflict that is heating up. Well, the shooting happened in broad daylight. One man is in hospital, and as CTV's Ben Milger reports, it happened on a block that has seen more violence in recent months. A gunfire erupted here on Chickadee Place around 3.30 on Friday afternoon for the second time in just over four months. In each case, a victim went to hospital with what are described as non-life-threatening injuries, and police are calling both shootings targeted. Numbered evidence markers line the driveway of this house as Coquitlam RCMP investigate yet another targeted shooting in the Westwood Plateau neighborhood. Police say the victim is known to them and is expected to survive. Shortly after the shooting, people living on Hope Street in Port Moody discovered this car on fire, which led to a series of explosions. The first one rocked our house, which was about a block away from where the, uh, the car was situated. We are just a few doors down. Uh, first thing I did was just get the kids away from all glass and windows because it was enough to shake the house. As the towering flames shot in the air, residents with garden hoses tried to douse the fire, and one of them was injured in one of the explosions. Neighbors and a colleague of the man tell CTV News he is an off-duty Vancouver firefighter and had to be treated in a hospital. The extent of his injuries unclear at this point. Whenever things like this happen in other neighborhoods, it, it, it seems so far away, but when it starts to happen in your own, your own backyard, certainly it raises up some concerns. Police believe the car was involved in the shooting on Chickadee Place, where investigators were at the home where it happened late into the evening, just as they were in December, when a car parked in front of the same house was riddled with bullets. A man also went to hospital and survived. His nine-year-old son, in the car at the same time, was uninjured. Neighbors here who heard the shots did not want to speak on camera because this violence is too close to home for them and now becoming too frequent. Ben Milger, CTV News, Coquitlam. And a late-breaking update to the story tonight. RCMP releasing photos of this black Hyundai Santa Fe license plate FL-335K. They are calling it a vehicle of interest in the case and are asking for the public's help in finding this vehicle tonight.